like ah, what mm. what is this like um I just find that pull to extricate ourselves from that for for even if it's an hour like where maybe even an hour of sleeping might be more useful for me or whatever it is just some yeah. almost some escape from it for for a moment if you get yeah. that yeah yeah I'm fascinated by by it myself um my wife's much better than me at going to bed you know she, um, sort of she can have a hard day and then just be like and, and listen to her body and just go right I'm, I'm off um whereas for me there's there's something to it and I, I think part of what I'm um I'm hearing you articulate as well is sort of this like if I'm going from it, it might be things that I love doing right like I I really enjoy my work I love spending time with my kids like all the things are good things. Yes, there's ups and downs, blah, 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 but it's all good stuff. But when I get to the end of the day, it, it's almost like, it's almost like with a meal, I, you know, I have, I very much have a sweet tooth and sort of like, it doesn't, my brain doesn't register that the meal is done until I've had a bit of dessert or putting on something. Right. Um, similarly, it's like I've, I suppose it's culturation or like, you know, learned behavior. But when I get to the end of the day, I know it would probably be better for the next day for me just to like go to bed right then. Um, and I'm not staying up till like four o'clock in the morning or something, but, but I just feel like, you know, I just, I, I need to have that like moment of sit down of like some kind of, of chill out. Um, I was listening to a book by Ian Mortimer, who's a historic, historical writer, um, this morning when I was running and he was saying that, um, the, 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 the experience of, of running is, a stress on your body but it's the least stressful thing for your mind and right. i think there's something like that so i you know i i probably about every other day on average whenever i can i sort of wake up early and go for a run in the dark and stuff and 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 i do that for a similar reason as i sort of am drawn to sit on the couch and want something at the end of the day it's 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 creating space i think that's something about it but the, but then there's always this inner tension of going okay so now what do i what do i do with it um, and, and in that context of death, I'm conscious that, you know, everyone says, well, no one's on their deathbed going, oh, I, I, I'm disappointed I never finished that box set or something. So yeah. I, know, I know that I'm not doing it for that reason. And it's totally okay just to, you know, what I would call like veg, right? It's totally fine just to sit and watch something. Mind it's totally fine. Um, but I just always have this pull to go, okay, yes, that's good. I know that's okay. But I mean, often I'm sat next to my wife doing that and I'm like, gosh, but like we, we could be talking about something really, yes. meaningful, really meaningful, right? So, so it's, but then at the same time, you can't always be pushing, 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 pushing into that. You sort of, I think, I think what I'm talking, what we're talking about is sort of having a, um, uh, making space for meaning rather than forcing it. And yeah. the thing that I don't want to do, you know, I sit down, turn on the telly and I'm like, oh gosh, I don't want to do this. I want to do something more meaningful. But then when I try to force it, try to like turn and turn towards her and have a meaningful conversation, um, it doesn't, it doesn't feel natural, right? It doesn't feel authentic in that moment. And so I suppose where I'm trying to land is go, what do we need right now? Do you know what? It's totally fine. We're going to watch something, uh, try to make it use, you know, positive to watch, but I'm going to watch something for an hour. Uh, knowing that tomorrow, actually we've carved out some time for like, having dinner together and more of a conversation. So I think that that helps me go, okay, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I can therefore relax into just, just sort of vegging, but it's that, it's that, that tension. That's I think uh, often there, which I would say is a good thing because it, it keeps me honest. It keeps me from just sort of rolling through day to day to day and, and sort of just, um, you know, wasting away. But I think there's a nice kind of like, as you were describing it there and, and, Perf like almost mapping out my my thoughts on the matter too like of like sometimes you know just having had a great conversation with my wife for an hour instead of putting on the show and going fucking hell why don't we always do this y yeah you know yeah. That, that kind of thing like wow i didn't engage with technology i feel fresher now let's go to bed mm -hmm. there's not all these like images flashing through my head as i'm as a as my head is laying mm -hmm. on the pillow but then i think as you say like a realization that you know this can't always be the way like it, it and 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 I don't know even even with how you were describing a good life from both the perspective of maybe anxiety filled moments or or joy that it, it's all of it right like and yeah. and it's almost like some of it provides a foil or a space for the other things to exist 